Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Feezy Built channel. I hope you liked that last video that we did on the engine bay. If you haven't seen it, it was the finale. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link for the whole series or maybe just that last video. But if you're new to the channel and you wanna check it out, it's been approximately about two or three days since I did the job and I've got it covered because of today's project. Yeah, I don't know how well it picks it up on camera, but I mean, you know what you're looking at. It's a little bit of dust in there that needs to be cleaned off or whatever. It's been sitting for a couple days. No big deal. Still needs to be polished. All the basic stuff, but today's video is a little bit different. Actually, it's the same. We've been doing a lot of painting, so um, I'm going to go ahead and drop some clips. I don't know how much, maybe even a little intro to what I did the other day when I was over at Anthony's house. Alright guys, so I didn't really record much yet because I just wanted to kind of get a basis of where I needed to be myself. Um, as you can see, I started sanding this down. You can see like this kind of the higher, or I should say the lower spot actually, this more white area, right? That's the actual resin in the carbon fiber. This over here is where I'm just starting to break into it and I've just made it through this original clear coat. I've spent about 15 minutes doing just this portion, so I would guess it's going to take about an hour and a half to two hours to actually get the hood just knocked down. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to it, but I thought I would kind of point this stuff out to you guys. Once you've made it to this, you know, wider looking area, just know that you're in the resin and you're not far away from the carbon fiber. So be really careful. If you hit the carbon fiber, you're going to mess up the weave and it's just, it's never going to look right. So. You know, I don't really know a whole lot of what I'm talking about here. I'm learning too. I've done this a couple times, but clearly it didn't turn out the best. So hopefully this one turns out right. I'm going to use the knowledge that I have now that I didn't prior to try to make this perfect. So I'm going to put you guys on time lapse and just buzz through this and sand it all down. I sanded down my carbon fiber hood, which I'll take you guys upstairs in a minute and show you what I'm talking about. Um, there's a few spots that are like the old resin in it cracked severely all over it, like spider webbed. Um, the old resin kind of yellowed. That just kind of happens. Maybe it was the clear coat. I don't know. I've been standing on it for like the past two days and I've got it to the point where I'm like, look, there's not much more I can do. Uh, it's leveled, but I, if I were to actually try to get rid of all those cracks and stuff in the resin, I would actually have to sand all the way down to the carbon fiber and eventually you'd beat up the carbon fiber and it wouldn't even be worth it. So I devised a little bit of a plan. I have no idea if this is going to work, but I think it will. Um, when I do my clear, I'm going to go ahead and take some of my finish color, which was a black with red and several other pearlescents, pink, purple, all kinds of different stuff. And I'm going to mix a good amount of that base coat into my clear to give the clear a tint. Now, although it's going to look black to you guys, it'll actually come out kind of gray. What I'm hoping that this does is kind of mask a lot of those cracks and the discoloration in the hood and just give us a nice sheen. Once again, I have no idea if this is going to work. And if not, who cares? You know, it's an old carbon fiber hood that's been beat up. I plan on running it this season again until I can afford a new one. So who knows? Maybe this will work out and we, we won't need to buy a new one because it'll look so beautiful. But... 
I doubt that will be the case, but I know it will look better than before. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys upstairs. Alright guys, so we're upstairs. Sorry about the poor lighting. Um, it's, I mean, it's easy to pick up, honestly, but you can see like the cracks and striations. And the whole hood's like that. And these parts, they're like glossier. I would imagine that was because there was like waves in the carbon fiber. So as I was sanding it, you know, it was uneven. Um, like I said, I've spent several hours sanding this, trying to get it right. I'm going to do a little bit more sanding while I'm up here and some of these rough areas and try to get it perfect. Wipe it down and start shooting color. But like I said, you know, I wanted to show you guys what we're dealing with. Sorry about the really ghetto cutouts. And it just looks trashy, but it was my first attempt. I was super nervous, and I did not know what I was doing. Um, when I do my new hood exit, this is probably all going to have to be opened up, and so it will get a heat plate anyways, so you won't see none of that. But uh, The secondary one is because I used to run a ram horn, and my screamer tube came out there. I have a plan for that. Um, you guys will see it. Hopefully, you guys don't think it's too shabby, but it is what it is. Like I said, it's just hood I have, and I'm doing with what I got, so... I'm going to go ahead and just kind of sand this down. I'm not going to record any of that, but I will pick up with you guys as soon as I start putting some new clear on it. And now we're back down here. So that's kind of what we're working with. You know, it's sorry about all the talking and rambling. I just want to inform you guys and kind of catch you up on what's going on. I've already cleaned my gun out. I'm going to go ahead and clean it out a little bit more with some acetone. That's what I always do before I use it. And then after I get the paint in it, even though I've blown it all dry and all that, I still, I spray a little bit of dust, you know, out of the way to make sure that there's none left in the gun to have any kind of reaction. Um, cause it, it can happen. So right now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix up this clear coat. I'm going to speed it up and then I'll slow it back down right when we actually start adding the color. So you guys aren't sitting here, Ooh, you know, fucking 10 minutes into me mixing this for five minutes, whatever. So I'll pick right back up with you guys. So this is going to be a four, four to one mixture on the Wanda. Um, I've been having a little bit of issue with this hardener. It's kind of old. I'm not sure if I want to just use my standard or I think I'm just going to use the last of this, but just to get it out of here, I've spent money on it. So when you do a four to one, you come over here and you find your four to one table. I always do the smaller bead, the red portion. So you'll do four parts of whatever it is that you need to do four parts of and then number five is going to be you know the the additive the one other part so five parts total um, i don't know some people might be confused on that stuff i kind of was wasn't 100 percent sure um usually i put this stuff through a strainer guys a filter but i don't have any i thought i did and i'm really not that concerned about it because this hood is going to be wet sanded but you would want to put it through a strainer. My gun has one in it already, so that should help. I'm just putting that out there. But you want to strain it at, after it comes out of the cup and into the gun to make sure that anything inside this that could have got in there doesn't end up in your paint. But, you know, bad practice. I'm not doing what I'm talking about. This is the 2K clear. This is the hardener for it, right? So we're gonna add four parts of the 2K clear. spraying i'm gonna do a quick dry run and make sure everything's good on the hood and then i'll start spraying but
So there it is, guys. Got the clearing again. And I will pick back up with you probably once I start spraying, so. camera is picking this up guys but this came out pretty goddamn good better than i would imagine oh yeah you can kind of see it see how it looks like red it's got like that same almost the same color as the engine bay but as you get closer you can see it's the carbon fiber but it's got like that red it's exactly what we wanted really i mean this is what i was trying to get i'm pretty happy with the result I was going to add some clear over the top of this, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to leave this for a couple days, maybe come back in and then put some clear, you know, rough it up with like 1200 really quick. I don't know yet. I still got my respirator on guys. That's why you can hardly hear me. So I'm been breathing through this thing for a little, a little while now. So I'm going to leave this stuff alone because I can see little dust nibs and stuff coming off of me and trying to stick to the paint the clear coat's already gassed out quite a bit so i don't think anything's really going to stick in it and i think it's going to be all right to set up for the night but that's the end result guys and like i said i don't know how well the camera's picking that up she's glossing definitely needs work there's a lot of hills in the clear but that's okay i expected that I'm going to come through and polish all this stuff anyways. It's just part of the game. Something that a lot of painters won't even tell you about. But to get that beautiful image, you, you really, you have to, you're going to have to polish. So. so guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. I'll pick back up with you and show you what it looks like in a couple days. Um... Um, I think the next video I got coming is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys my turbo setup and just kind of the setup and go over it in general for those of you that don't know. And um, thank you for watching. See you on the next one.